The following program may contain adult language and mature subject matter and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Reality Radio 101, its advertisers and sponsors, or its listening audience. Listener discretion is strongly advised. Welcome to Canadian Cigar Scene with your hosts, Julian Luke and Kevin Newell, right here on Reality Radio 101. To contact us live, dial 905-725-1907. Toll free in North America, 1-866-905-7325. Worldwide, 1-866-656-5477. Send us an email right now, realityradio101 at yahoo.com. And now, your hosts of Canadian Cigar Scene, Kevin Newell and Jillian Luke. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Canadian Cigar Scene. How you doing, Jew? I'm doing good. You're on Periscope. There's go. Got you on there, man. Oh, buddy. We're technically literate. <laughs> technically literate. He's got a new phone. He's all jacked. I got a good phone. I got an Android. Uh, I got a real phone. I got an iPhone. Yeah, we had battle of the phones last week anyways. That's that's for another day. You know, we ought to give a shout out to the fine folks at Rogers at the Five Points Mall because knowing how you're like the most difficult client in the planet to shop for, Me. they did a hell of a job figuring it out. Michaela and Sheldon mm. and Cassandra and Tifa. Tifa? Tifa, yeah. Yeah. You, I went in there today to actually change my phone again, and they said, oh, you're with Julia. <laughs> Julia. That's right. I had to get, yeah, I got to I'm writing it. I had to write you a note like when my mom used to send me to the store for, <laughs> for cigarettes for when smokes. I was a kid. <laughs> Classic. Hey, that's what I do. Um, it's a sad day. Can we tone down the music and uh, get some sort of violin music going? Why is it a sad day? <sighs> Poor Jays. The Jays oh, are I done. Know. The Jays are done. But the good thing is there is no more baseball. The baseball is done now, right? I mean, yeah. But when you think about it, they were like two games away from being in the World Series. Yeah, like that's going to be heartbreaking for those guys. Yeah, it's a sad day. But hey, you know what? They had a hell of a run. They did. They'll be they back. Did. They'll be back. And who gives a shit about the World Series? And R. A. Dickey went and got a shave down at Village uh, down in uh, Burlington too. No, it wasn't him. It was uh, no, no. It was. I checked it on. Oh, online. it was the, it was yeah, the Dick it, Man. It, yeah, yeah. Dick yeah, man. he doesn't look nearly so scruffy. He doesn't look homeless anymore. <laughs> homeless. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, uh, I guess I should say hello to the people in Iceland, Jamaica, Poland, Russia, England, Egypt. Boom. How do we do it? You know these people personally? <laughs> I I don't think so. No, but uh, they know us now because they've been listening to us for weeks and weeks and weeks, right? And when they come on holidays, they're going to come and buy some cigars, perhaps. We can only hope. Victory Cigars, Oshawa, Ontario. Anyways... We have, uh, oh yeah, what the hell are we doing this for? This is all about education, my friend. Every week we get online and uh, on the air and tell people what's happening in the Canadian cigar scene. You're preaching to the choir, baby, preaching to the choir. Um, We have got a a great guest. We're going to get right into it, right into uh, our guest now. We have uh, from Brigham Enterprises, the National and Intergalactic Sales Manager, (laughs) Paul Graham. Welcome to the show, Paul. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, Pleasure to be on. Absolutely. Great to have you here, too. I know you uh, fought through traffic like, like it is for all the guys, that, the sorry, sorry chumps that we have to drag all the way through rush hour traffic. Uh, I, I have no idea how people do it. <laughs> I uh, you know, used to be on the road a lot, and uh, uh, now I'm just uh, just not used to it it's, anymore. It's nuts, isn't it? No, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Pull your hair up. You, you need a smoking car. Cigar on the way home. Or a nice, a nice bowl of tobacco, you know, you're just rolling back down the highway. It's all good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Brigham Enterprises. Yes, sir. What the heck is Brigham? Uh, what is a Brigham? 
Brigham Enterprises. Uh, we were founded in 1906 by Rory Brigham, and uh, we started out as a pipe repair shop. Uh, we had a shop on King Street. Uh, over the years, the business evolved to manufacturing pipes. Uh, I think our big claim to fame and uh, where we uh, really uh, strengthened our name was uh, with the uh, rock maple filter, or now known as the distillator. Uh, <laughs> essentially, it was a little uh, dowel made out of uh, rock maple uh, to essentially eliminate uh, tongue bite, but uh, not impede on the flavor of the uh, tobacco. So for us, uh, you know, we still have the patent, the original patent at the office, and uh, that... Uh, that uh, you know really put us on the map and into in the 1960s where our heyday and uh, I think at one point we were selling about 80 percent of the uh, all pipes sold in uh, Canada in wow. the 60s. Yeah. I know the sportsman show was always a big boom for you guys too. Huge huh? show, yeah, yeah absolutely. You guys, you guys did specific pipe for the sportsman show every year, didn't you? Well, absolutely, and that's uh, where the actual the sportsman pipe uh, mm -hmm. you know came about. Essentially, was uh, was for that show, and it was. A, a you know, rough, uh, uh, somewhat of an unfinished pipe uh, where they just sanded off the wings and yep. just sold it as is. And uh, I, I mean, I wasn't born back then, but uh, yeah. they were selling, from what I know, just you know, boxes and boxes and boxes. Uh, you know, like back then, in my understanding, like hundreds of thousand do uh, of dollars wow. at the time. So, Julian, you were born back in that day. What was it like? It was <laughs> awesome. It was actually awesome. I mean, talk about the ultimate men's road trip because you go there, they have a giant swimming pool filled with rainbow trout. You'd be allowed to, like, catch a trout. There was Rapala and Normark were there, like, selling lures, and there'd be all these guys around the pipe table. And you could smoke then at the, at the show, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, those were the days. Those were the days, yeah. absolutely. So, so I mean, you still use that same system in the pipes to this day? We uh, do. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, and we still have, we still manufacture the uh, the rock maple, uh and I always always swing back and forth what to call it because yeah. uh, you know, it's not it. a filter. No, but uh, but we call it the distillator now. Uh, we still manufacture it uh, here in uh, in Ontario, and uh, there is uh, one machine left in the world. Wow. Uh, there is only one machine ever made in the world. So uh, when a part uh, part breaks down, it's not as if we can pick up the phone and That's call right. Canadian Tire and get That's a part. Right. We've got to manufacture our parts. So. So I think everybody would basically know Brigham and their pipe area as the you know the one to seven dot, right? Yes, basically. Yeah. Um, so where are the where are the pipes made now? Uh, pipes are made at a couple uh, locations uh, in Europe, uh, one in France and one in uh, Italy. Uh, you know that's just uh, economies of scale. Uh, yeah. You know that transition started about uh, twenty plus years ago. And uh, I'll spare you the boring details on that, but uh, you know, similar to similar to Stanwell, uh, Stanwell is no longer made in Denmark. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's just the nature of the industry, yep. and, and it's you can't find people that are really interested in doing that work anymore. And uh, right, is what it is, I guess. So. so up to up today, up to uh, Brigham today, who runs? Who's who is Brigham now? Like, is there a, is there still a Brigham? There is. Uh, the owner is uh, Michael Brigham. And uh, Michael Brigham is the grandson of the founder, Roy. Uh, you know, I guess uh, the quick history is Roy Brigham founded it. And then uh, Herb Brigham uh, uh, took over uh, Roy's son, obviously. Yep. And then uh, I believe in the 70s, uh, Mike Brigham uh, came on board. And, uh, and then Mike uh, brought on uh, our current president, Daniel Moore. And okay. uh, Daniel's uh, been with the company for 30 plus years now and is, uh, oversees all of our operations. Okay. And Mike Brigham is uh, he's still involved, uh, just not on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, he has some other uh, interests uh, uh, within the uh, uh, environmentally friendly interests, uh, solar power, wind power, okay. uh, that he uh, focuses a lot of his energy on. But he still does pop into the pop into the Ab office. Absolutely, yeah. I uh, I live in the same neighbor as hi neighborhood as him, so I uh, always hitch a ride for the Christmas party with him, so I can oh, uh, have a little fun. And uh, how old is Mike? I'm just curious. You know what? Uh, like is he sixty? Is he eighty? Yeah, is he you know, good question. Uh, that's probably something I don't know. He's not eighty. Okay, but he's <laughs> uh, not. He's not I, Dorian Gray I, I either, is he? No, he's around. Uh, he's. I think I he's in his late fifties, okay. early sixties, okay. is my understanding. Okay, yeah. good. Very cool. Very cool. So, let's talk. Uh, let's talk uh, product lines for Brigham. Sure. Um, I know you've got a ton of stuff other than mm -hmm. other than just the pipes, and I mean you carry a ton of different types of pipes. You know, uh, you know, you got your Brigham pipes, Lawrence Eddy, Stanwell. All that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, but it also goes towards the. Let's finish with the pipe stuff. I mean, pipe tobaccos, correct? 
That is correct. Uh, we uh, obviously touched upon uh, a couple of pipes. Uh, we have our own brands, uh, Brigham, Lorenzetti. Uh, we distribute Stanwell. We distribute Big Ben. We distribute for Chacombe. Mm-hmm. Uh, we distribute uh, Dunhill. You know, technically, yep. I should be calling that White Spot uh, yep. when it comes to the pipes and the accessories. That sounds kind of weird, though. It, it does. Uh, <laughs> s- it sounds like the hamburger chain out in uh, <laughs> out in Western Canada there. I was thinking of something different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I digress. Um, and then for pipe pipe tobacco, uh, obviously we have our own custom blend uh, pipe tobacco, which we've named uh, uh, Mr. B's. Yep. We have our Legend Series pipe tobacco. We also distribute McBaron, Dunhill. Um, Solani. Solani, thank you. Yep. Um, I'm uh, sure we're missing a couple. Uh, yeah, we, no we, doubt, yeah I've, got, I've got so many. Uh, the Backwich pipe tobacco, yep. the yep. Mixture 79. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we have a... A number of uh, pipe tobacco brands, for okay. sure. Um, I know you're, you're quite involved in the mass market area as well. That is correct. Mm-hmm. That is correct. So what do we have for the mass market? Well, we, uh, distribu- we're the uh, exclusive Canadian distributor for Backwoods, uh, Phillies, and Hava Tampa, and okay. Dutch Master. Okay. Uh, Backwoods and Phillies are, uh, are two of the bigger brands and can be found in um, uh, all the gas and convenience channels yep. uh, throughout Canada, for the most part. Uh, Hava Tampa... Uh, s- some some gas and convenience channels, mm-hmm. but mainly it's more of a boutique cigar. Yeah. has a has a has a different uh, type of following for sure. And, and people really like that wooden tip, though. You uh, know, that's what it is. Do. It's that bloody wooden tip on it's that. It's all eh? about the wooden tip. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And then we have uh, premium tobacco as well, premium cigars. Absolutely, and that's a that's a big chunk of our business uh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, w- we. Uh, you know the the brands we distribute, uh, you know, not in any particular order, but uh, Dunhill, Vegafina, uh, La Florida Dominicana, Azan, uh, a new and up and coming brand there, uh, Guaranteed Jamaica, uh, Piros Indios. Uh, uh, we distribute all of Alejandro Turrent's uh, products, whom yep. you guys know pretty well. Uh, yep. The A Turrent, uh, uh, the Tiamos, the Revolution cigars. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also distribute some bundle cigars, uh, and uh, we also do uh, a number of private label uh, uh, brands as well. Wow, so that's quite the repertoire there. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think that's uh, the the hidden secret about Brigham is. Uh, you know, I I certainly know that everybody associates Brigham with pipes, mm-hmm. and uh, and that's not incorrect. Uh, and and we're we're very proud of our Brigham uh, our heritage uh, here at Brigham, mm-hmm. but our, our business t- uh, these days is. Uh, you know, predominantly cigars, and uh, we're very proud of the brands that we distribute in Canada too. So, so I guess it's so it basically it's a time tested sort of thing wh- where you build relationships with these people like Alejandro or oh, or Lito Gomez or something like yep. or, or Roberto Duran, you uh, know, absolutely. and and they take it and they entrust you to uh, to distribute throughout the country, right? Uh, absolutely, I think that's I think that's one of the things I love about. I love about this business and uh, love about mm-hmm. my job is you know, th- the relationships I have with our with our vendors and the manufacturers. Uh, you know, Al- Alejandro, uh, you know, I consider him a real good friend. Uh, Roberto, uh, you know, same thing. Uh, yeah. Y- you know, uh, Antoine at Chacom, uh, you know, guys born the same year I was. And we have a lot of you know similar likes and dislikes. Yep. So we just get along, I man. I, and I get to see these guys. I'm fortunate. See them maybe about three times a year throughout trade shows mm-hmm. and other uh, various events. So it's. Uh, it's it's nice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I thought there was a bit of false advertising there when you told me I was going to meet Roberto Duran. I thought I was meeting the boxer. No, uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's bigger than Roberto Duran. He, yeah, he yeah. actually yeah. is. He's he actually tank, is. Man. He's a and Roberto's a big guy he's too. A, he's a big man. He yeah. is. He's a good guy too. We had him in the shop before. I mean, it's been pretty cool. I you know I, you know just for the you know having you guys as our, one of our suppliers. I know that it's been. It's been a pretty cool thing to be able to have the likes of Roberto Duran and Alejandro Torrent, uh, yep. you know, guys like um, uh, the gentleman from Mazin Factory. Uh, oh, Santo. Santo and yeah, uh, legendary, guy. legendary roller who you see in, you know, numerous cigar magazines yeah. every time they're produced that, uh, you know, have these guys in just so our customers can meet these people and yeah. the faces of the brands. And it's very important to be able to do that. And Absolutely. I, and Brigham does get that, which is a good thing. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's you know, we try. We do try our best mm-hmm. on that. Front. Yeah, it's a good uh, thing to do. Like other than having to put up with Penelope, it's yeah. been wonderful. <laughs> That's, That's, true. True. That's true. I hope too. she's listening tonight. We love you, Pen. You know that. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, 
So you guys, uh, you guys, oh, oh, the only other thing I forgot to talk about was uh, in your repertoire was your accessories. I mean, you're massive in the accessories department. We are. We uh, we have our own brand, uh, Brigham uh, Brigham humidification products, uh, mm-hmm. uh, humidifiers, uh, hygrometers. Uh, <coughs> Uh, obviously, all the pipe accessories, uh, yeah, you know, anything, anything, and ev- everything you can pretty much uh, think of. The only thing I don't think we have right now is pipe freshener, and that's I think that's a Health Canada issue and just not worth the battle. We'll get into uh, that in a minute. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm sure, we will. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So I mean, you guys basically cover the whole. You know, you're one of those uh, unique suppliers for us that has you know a, a huge repertoire of not just premium cigars, but the pipe, the whole pipe yeah. section too, and you know, it's kind of a unique hybrid there, isn't it? Yeah, and that, and that's our goal. You know, we want to be a one-stop shop. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously we don't have everything, uh, but we, you know, we like to think that, you know, with the exception of Cuban cigars, you could, uh, you know, in theory, a retail shop could have maybe two vendors if they really wanted to. That's and, right. uh, you know, because we can supply everything. Uh, we'll be getting uh, humidors uh, very shortly, which we were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's just going to strengthen our uh, offering and. Uh, yeah. yeah, and you guys took the uh, you took the unique steps to uh, open a, a retail location downtown as well, didn't you? We did. Uh, you know, we call it getting back to our roots. Uh, we used to have retail locations. Uh, I'm sure many people know we had retail locations, uh, you know, down on King Street, and uh, then in um, uh, TD Tower uh, for a number of years. We closed our last store in 1995. And we we wanted to uh, we, we wanted to get a flagship store back just to showcase all of our products, especially our Brigham uh, our, our Brigham line of uh, pipes. So we we have we have quite, quite an extensive line, and it's it's hard for a lot of retailers uh, to showcase all our lines and mm-hmm. still give proper representation to the other brands out there. So, so that's what that's facilitated uh, us to do. Where's the store? What's the 1946 name? 1946 Queen Street East, uh, down in the beaches, uh, a couple blocks. Uh, Couple blocks uh, east of Woodbine, there on the uh, north hand side. And so the store and the shop is called Brigham and Moore Tobacconist and Epicures. Fantastic. And we got the brand new sign up now. Oh, so do you? Yep, absolutely. Good. So one one more quick question before we go to break. Sure. Now I'm just as a retailer. Okay, I'm not putting you on the spot here. That's fine. I've, uh, we've already been through this. Um, what, did you find any, was there any sort of uh, struggles with any of the, of the retailers that you supply right now with the product that you have, that, that, and then you went and opened a, a retail store yourself? Was there an issue there? Or? You know, it's, it, that's a real good question. Uh, there was certainly some trepidation. Uh, mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to find the right word. Uh, there, there was some concern, I, and and I understand, and we understood that. Uh I, I took the liberty of trying to reach out to a lot of our, our key retailers and, and as many as possible to, you know, s- you know point out that we're we're not here to uh, to undercut. We didn't mm-hmm. open up a new store. We assumed an existing store. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, and in fact, I mean, you know, we we feel it strengthens the business and, and it strengthens our knowledge on the retail side of the business. You know, right. I've always had a fa- I've always felt I've had a fairly good understanding from my retail days in the in- industry, but being a little bit more hands-on with it now really re- reiterates some of the issues and so forth. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what? I know I uh, give you guys kudos for that. Uh, yeah. I know that it was explained to us mm-hmm. very well and it was up front and uh, right yeah. all, all above board for us. So we had no issues with it yeah. and uh, you know. And, and that's the thing and I know we got to ru- rush here but uh, I think we we're upfront about it, yeah. and once I spoke to everybody, everybody seemed to be, uh, you know, calm, you know, calm about it. And I think right. there's, there's, there, there are some opportunities down the road to strengthen everyone's business uh, through this move. So. Absolutely. Well, folks, we w- we're uh, heading to a commercial break here. We'll be right back in uh, in a jiffy here in a jiffy. <laughs> Just letting you all know that you're listening to Canadian Cigar Scene on Reality Radio 101. Mandy's Toys and Things is a wonderful place to find great toys, awesome jewelry, and unique porcelain figures. There is a wide selection of items for the entire family. Come in and see our plush toys and action figures section for great buys, fantastic volume deals, and cheap, cheap prices. 
We are conveniently located at the Curtis Flea Market, 1696 Bloor Street in Curtis, Ontario. Building 2 at the back of the building. Open Saturdays and Sundays all year round. Mention this ad and receive 5% off only at Mandy's Toys and Things. Looking for that very unique and personal gift? Then look no further. At Pamper Me Organically, we have that very special gift for that very special person in your life. Pamper Me Organically is a Canadian owned and operated company that specializes and sells organic bath and beauty products. Come in and visit us locally in the Pickering Village Courtyard in Pickering, Ontario. Or visit our website at www.pampermeorganically.com. We ship worldwide for all of your online purchases. Call us at 416-629-1952. 416-629-1952. Remember, at Pamper Me Organically, we never sell any product that contains harmful chemicals, fragrances, colorants, or animal ingredients. We are... Pamper Me Organically, where you always get great products at a great price. The following program may contain adult language and mature subject matter and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Reality Radio 101, its advertisers and sponsors, or its listening audience. Listener discretion is strongly advised. Are we singing? <laughs> Welcome back to Canadian Cigar Scene with your hosts Julian Luke and Kevin Newell right here on Reality Radio 101. Send us an email right now, realityradio101 at yahoo.com. And now right back to Kevin and Julian. Hello again and welcome back, everybody. We're sitting here uh, with Paul Graham, uh, Intergalactic and National Sales Manager for Brigham Enterprises. Welcome back, everybody. You're sitting there playing with your phone is actually what you're doing. It's a new phone. I was just, don't, don't you, just, I was just texting uh, Penelope. There you go, Pete. Don't, don't you like it when uh, Gary plays easy listening to come back from the break? <laughs> That's beautiful. It's all good, man. Little Burt Burt Little Burt Bacharach. You guys are from Whitby. Are you kidding me? They're local boys. Um, what do we got? Cigar events. Cigar events. Uh, this is where you say? Get a pencil to jot them down. <laughs> So what's much. coming up? Uh, no, actually, this Friday, uh, just as a little, just as a little uh, sidebar, uh, Brigham product. Uh, we will be launching Dunhill Cigars at Victory Cigars this Friday, October thirtieth, eleven till five. Penelope, our uh, illustrious Brigham representative, will be in uh, in store with uh, three new lines of Br of Dunhill cigars. Yes, sir. Can't wait. So Penelope's going to be giving out lines on Friday. That's what everybody took from that. <laughs> huh? Penelope's giving out lines. He said she's got three new lines. Oh, three new lines of Dunhill cigars. Oh, there. You, be, you better say that. This is Oshawa, you know. Oh, for the love of Pete. Uh, don't forget, uh, November 7th is a Saturday. We have Epic and Christoph Cigar Event. Uh, at Victory Cigars will be uh, tons of swag, as there will be on Friday as well. Um, week of November 20th is our sixth anniversary, and you are invited, by the way. Uh, I am coming, uh, by the way. Woo it's woo in my calendar. Woo woo. Yeah, our sixth anniversary. It's going to be a shindig. It's going to be beauty. Absolutely. Uh, cigar scene happenings. Go to huge, you. <laughs> Mombacho Cigars, 10th anniversary party. We've been telling people about this for a while, but if you've never been to Casa Favilli in uh, Granada, Nicaragua, you've got to go in January 2016. Uh, and a shout out uh, this week, we're going to shout out all the way to Edmonton, Alberta, to Chris at Burlington on White. If you are traveling to Canada and going to be in Edmonton, Alberta, make sure you go to 10468 82nd Avenue and check out Chris, probably the single most knowledgeable, I would think, pipe retailer in the country. Incredible cigar selection as well. If you want to find out uh, more about his operation, www.tobacconist.ca. Back to you, Kev. 
Yeah, he's a beaut, that's for sure. Uh, I just want to go back one second. Can, can I get you to say uh, Casa Favilli one more time? Casa Favilli. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I've been saying it every week. Are we going to say that until <laughs> frickin' middle of January? <laughs> Jesus. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, here we go. Uh, back to back to Paul. Paul, yes. serious question for you here. All right. All right. We're going to dig deep here, okay? Good old Brigham Enterprises, as well as everybody else in the uh, tobacco world of Ontario and Canada are, are facing some serious uh, shit storms right now, as you call them. That, that, that's, that's, a, that's a mild way of putting yes. it. Yes. It's, it's known as the flavor ban. That's correct. What the heck is going on? Well, what's going on? Uh, and I'll try and, um, and keep, we, thi- keep this under a couple of minutes. And you got, and you got four minutes. It, Go. <laughs> essentially, the government uh, uh, has implemented uh, new amendments, uh, pr- both pr- provincially and federally uh, across the country, not all provinces, some. Uh, but the big one is the federal government has come out with amendments to the Tobacco Act that will ban flavors in cigars that weigh between 1.4 grams and 6 grams. With the exception of uh, adult flavors, adult flavors are deemed as the follow following: whiskey, wine, rum, and port. If a cigar is above six grams, uh, flavors are permitted so long as it meets the following criteria: no tipping paper, and not a word of a lie. This is how it is written in the federal uh, legislation: uh, a spiral-bound wrap. There's 30 degrees to the longitude axis of the cigar, or something like that. Uh, so for us, uh, it's uh, going to have a, su- a significant, uh, substantial impact on our backwood cigars. Uh, mm-hmm. As of uh, December 14th, we will only be uh, permitted to sell backwoods original and wild rum. And even in some provinces, we cannot sell the wild rum, uh, Alberta and Nova Scotia. It's uh, it, it, it's all it's all political in my mind, and I'm not going to get into politics. I'm pretty sure our yeah. listeners are tired of politics these days, having just gone through a no an election. Uh, absolutely, and the most important thing for our cust our, our customers is they just want to know what's banned and what's not. You know, I mean, uh, is a is a Phillies, is a a backwoods, is a have a Tampa. I mean, backwoods. Most of the backwoods will be uh. uh uh, not permitted for sale after December 14th, with the exception of Backwoods Original and Backwoods Wild Rum. Mm-hmm. Phillies, uh, the blunts, no problem, uh, because they're above six grams, and so all of your Phillies will still be permitted for sale. Okay. You have a Tampa, w- w- cont- w- the vanilla and the chocolate will be uh, banned for sale uh, after the 14th. And Dutch Masters, which is another flavored uh, brand that we have, will be permitted for sale. It uh, meets the uh, requirements to uh, b- be exempt from it. But the, the big one is, is backwards for sure, and it's uh, really unfortunate and frustrating. Yeah. So really, I mean, Brigham's set with some uh, serious, serious challenges moving forward in the, in the future here. How do you guys plan on tackling that? Uh, good question. Um, our our plan is we will continue to build. Uh, you know, we will continue to build the Phillies. We still have that, and that's a mm-hmm. that is a, a component of our business for sure. Uh, we will continue to build the Backwoods Original and the Backwoods Wild Rum uh, because there there are obviously growth opportunities for those, and and, and you know, there will be that transition. I mean, the original still uh, is a very smooth and mild smoke. Uh, the mm-hmm. Wild Rum is uh, they changed the uh, formula a few years ago, and it's much better than it was before. Mm-hmm. And I gotta say, I mean, you're not the only company here. I mean, nope. uh, it's not like we're putting you on the spot at all. I mean, every one of our suppliers is faced with the same challenge uh, with I've a certain product that they do have yeah. that's going to be banned. And yeah. I, it's, I guess it's our job as a, as tobacconists in, in Ontario and, and in Canada to let our customers know what's going to be available after December 14th. Absolutely, and, and you know, for consumers, uh, stock up. Uh, if you, if you like backwoods right. honeyberry, you like backwoods sweet aromatic. I encourage you not to wait until the last week. Uh, I encourage you to get into your retailer now and stock up because it, come December 14th, they will uh, retailers will not be permitted to sell the product. I That's think uh, you know. Uh, I, I take a look at this, and I got a question to ask you. So, like, how many packs of backwoods do you sell to kids every week, Paul? Uh, zero. That's what I thought. Yeah. And uh, so here you've got a company that's been in business for 108 years. Correct. And you think of the number of people you've employed, the number of, you know, communities that you've helped businesses grow and expand, the amount of taxes that you've paid. Yep. And with absolutely no research into the reality of what, you know, kids are or aren't smoking, 
they've just thrown something over the castle wall here, and it's causing real problems in legitimate yep. businesses that have, have made an awful effort to make sure that their products never fall into the hands of kids. Absolutely. I, you know, I, I, making things even more mundane about this legislation in some provinces, and I didn't mention this earlier, uh, flavors in pipe tobacco are banned. Uh, Nova Scotia has banned flavors in pipe tobacco. New Brunswick has banned flavors in pipe tobacco. You know, my argument is always, A, I don't see a lot of kids smoking a pipe these days. And when they're smoking a pipe, it's not pipe tobacco that's that right. they're smoking. But certainly. that's going to be legal. Maybe you ought well, to come out with some pot flavor pipe uh, tobacco. You know, you know, you know what? Uh, we we got a testing room maybe. Where we're <laughs> 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 okay, we got to go now. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's it's just crazy to think that I got a you know a customer that has to you know tell his grandfather who fought in the yep. bloody war to to for rights for our country and our people and say that they can't smoke their bloody pipe anymore. That's insanity. Yeah, it's 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 unfortunate, and yeah. um, it's uh, you know I I feel we we spend more time uh, jumping through uh, hurdle ju- you know h- jumping hurdles here and mm-hmm. uh, you know instead of actually trying to build brands and uh, right. You know, but on a uh, on a uh, milder note, I know the legislation stuff. Yes, um, you do a lot of uh, I mean with your work, you you and Dan just seem to do a lot of travel, right? We uh we do. It's a yeah. little bit of a perk of the job, uh, except for when you're going to some unknown town in the middle some tr- of nowhere. So where's the, some of the places you've been? Wow. Uh, over the years, I've been to uh, I've been Dominican, I've been to Cuba, I've been Nicaragua, Honduras, Jamaica, Mexico. I've been all across Canada. I'm fortunate I get to see all the retailers uh, across Canada and know them. Know them uh, pretty well, especially uh, Chris at Burlington White, uh, whom we uh, gave a shout out earlier to. Uh, traveled all over Europe, uh, a- Amsterdam, Copenhagen, you know, Germany, Far East, Far East, Far East as well. Uh, mm-hmm. The last couple of years, I've been over to Hong Kong and uh, Guangzhou, China. Uh, give me a C- give me a CD story. CD story. It involved, this, it involved Dan. Yeah, well, <laughs> and, and it's going to involve Dan. We were uh, we were in Guangzhou uh, th- this year uh, for the Canton Fair, and Dan needed a haircut. Just needed. So, a so we ended up getting he ended up getting a haircut at ten o'clock at night in Guangzhou, and uh, I, I was laughing. I thought it was hysterical. So how 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 lit was he when he was having the haircut? I, you know what? I'm going to keep that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh it could man, could have been worse. It could have been like stepbrothers, and he might have come home with the tattoo. Yeah. Right <laughs> <his eyes. laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, I got to thank you very much, uh, uh, Paul, for taking the time to come in and, and do this program. With Thanks us. for it's having a, me. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, again, the guys at Brigham, uh, Dan and Paul and Mark and Penelope and all the go- all the people in the uh, in the staff there. Yeah. I know you guys are Leanne and everybody's doing a great job there and. Uh, I know you guys are going to come through all this uh, flavor band bullshit. Uh, we'll survive. With we will survive. Com- with and uh, I want to thank you guys. Uh, you guys are uh, great retail partners of ours, and uh, we really appreciate uh, everything you do for our brands. Hey, that's thank you. that's what we do. You know, everybody in you know Ontario and Canada is trying to fight the same fight here for yep. uh, for people to enjoy a, a premium cigar and just do it in peace and quiet. You know. Yep. G, you got anything else to say? Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, next week's guest, uh, we promised people a couple of weeks ago we had a very brief phone-in chat with Rich Gambino from Zycar. We actually uh, were lucky we had him up in the shop a couple of, uh, sorry, about a week ago and got a full interview with him. So we're going to be broadcasting that next week. We will be in studio as well for call-in viewers uh, that got questions about Zycar. But, uh, yeah, Rich Gambino from Zycar next week. There he's, a, he's a great guy, too, so I'm looking forward to that show. should be a hoot. Um, I guess that's about it. I mean, anybody needs to contact us, uh, send your emails to radio at victorycigars.ca. Uh, contact Julian. He's Horatio at Victory Cigars on Twitter. Uh, always visit our Facebook page at Victory Cigars. And, of course, we are on Instagram. Again, thanks, everybody, for listening to Canadian Cigar Scene, and it is time to have a cigar. Absolutely. You have been listening to Canadian Cigar Scene with your hosts, Julian Luke and Kevin Newell, right here on Reality Radio 101.